everything all cleaned up and I put my three in one glue in this bottle just because I don't like the bottle that, that it comes in. The, it just overflows. Well, morning, everyone. I'm all finished my house. And Yvonne, if you're watching this, I just placed, like this here piece was supposed to go in there. I just placed my stuff, so my flowers. Sad. Yvonne, if you're watching this, wherever I could put them is where I put them. So there's the side. I did put this in the right place. That I didn't. These trees I probably didn't. I don't care. I just added whatever leftover greenery I had. I just stuffed it all in. I put some extra stamens in here um, because these were just plain green. I even put a little flower on top of there. Put some stamens here. I just put it my, I did it my own way. So just, and I didn't make, and even the top, I hid that gap. See the gap that was up here? It's hidden with the greenery. And I put the roses where I wanted. I put a little piece over in that corner with some greenery. So that's the house all done. There's the back. Did you figure out the music for that? Nope. I still don't know. And they're all the same. Like all of the music boxes are the same. Anyways, I'm working on a new one today. And I am going to shut the lights off because, oops. I don't want the lights to uh, die. The music sounds familiar, but I still can't place it. Yeah, I yeah. can't either. And this little fence hides the music, hides the light box. If I'd have done this properly, it would have been a lot neater, but I didn't. But that's me. I don't know. Does this one have a music box? Let's see if it sounds the same. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. I did try this one. I think it's the same one. <laughs> the same music. Yeah, they're all the same. That's okay. All right. So, oops, I need to move my computer careful without knocking out the camera. There we go. I didn't knock it out. So this is the one I'm working on. This one's called Wood Inhabit Valley. So I just called it Woodland Valley because there's a lot of wood pieces in this one. And it's so cute. And I did get a hold of the company that makes these, these dollhouses for the one they sent me in Chinese. They sent me the English manual. Sweet. <coughs> Good morning, Linda, but I got to print it out. No, I don't care about that. Good morning, hey, Linda. So today is starting with package A. Yay. Package A. So let me move my glues. I don't filled all my bottles, got the getting them ready for the next one. What glues are we using today? Three in one and... Yeah, just the plain stuff. Okay. All right, so we have one, B24. So this is one to 24. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm dumping packages on here because there's little things on in those packages that roll. Mm -hmm. This is, oh, this is a variety. All right take them out so there's f there's g h good right morning Jan. f g h Jan from the house. hi jen hey linda there's the two sisters sister from another mister i'm just kidding <laughs> okay a b c d e there's d there's c there's an empty bag there's H, H, and H, and what is all this? Uh, wow, this is really wood. thick wood. Look at the thickness of this. 
Wow. Good. You know it's not going to work. All right. So what's all this? This is the beautiful dust cover. And that's not a dust cover. So there is one, two, three, five pieces. There's this. There's this. Okay, the dust cover I do not need right now. This is, I think, the roof. This corrugated gray is the roof. That's corrugated. I don't know if you can see it, but it is. Yes. All right. Wow. And what do we have here? Ooh. Lots of stuff to cut out. Wow. Really? Got a product sheet. I like that. Okay, so this is all the cutouts. This is an actual size product sheet. Oh my God, like Jeff got in his. I like this. Makes it so much easier. Ah. Okay, so A4. Let's lay out these pieces then. Don't even need that. Okay, so we'll do it this way since it came with this. Quite pleasing. So A is not that. It is this here is the actual size. Wow. That's amazing. I like that. And these are all A's. It starts automatically into the B's. So we don't really need to mark those. Okay, B package. Time to dump. I need to move all these. I'm going to need this. I'm going to move you. Where's my pen? Right here. So I want to use this to dump it on. In case anything decides to roll away. Well, this one's made by a different company. It's obviously not the same company as, uh, as um, this one was made. All right, there, that piece goes there. Uh, that goes there. Nope. Not sure where this one goes. Hmm. Let's see if these are actual size. They are. Ain't that cool. What? That they're actual size. Yeah. Like, you can't go wrong. <laughs> I don't have to search these pieces. Should be four of these. Nope, they're different sizes. So the smaller ones are there. And the bigger ones are up here. That's what you need to be careful about, Rubes. Um, okay. Wow, this is so easy. Hi, Sandy. Sandy's with us. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Okay, that's a C. This is B9. Oh, there's B9. There's the one that will fit there. Um, so what are all these ones? These are all C's. What's on the back of this? I was going to say flip page. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. I've got them up wrong. There we go. See, like the A's, I don't need to mark those. Morning, Debbie. <coughs> B1. Good morning, Debbie. Debbie's with us. Hi, Debbie. All right. We're going to mark them. I have to do my checkbook and get some bills paid. Glasses, yep. Wait, I better check and see how many pieces are in D. Or keep going here. Oh, there's only 23. Okay. I'm locked up. Don't need those two. <coughs> oh, all right. Okay, so B1 is this big piece here. gonna fit in here. It'll have to go that way. So this is what you do when you first get a package. This is how you sort it out. Yes, you separate all your pieces. So obviously the A's I'm not gonna put in here because they're the big they're all the big wooden pieces that go to the actual house. So there's no need for me to do that. A message from Debbie she says, not sure if you heard, but my daughter is having a girl. Ooh. Oh, brilliant, Debbie. Yep, I already, I wrote congratulations to you. Cool. Yes. What is that on there? Piece of something. Let's be two. That's so exciting, isn't it, Debbie? <laughs> Grand I love the first time. B3. I wish they wouldn't have messed these all up, though. B3 is this big piece. Oh, they're thinking of Vivian Margaret. That's an old name. Yeah, that's a nice name. Vivian. Margaret. B3. B3. Before this bigger one. Five, B6. Are these both the exact same size? No, one is longer. So that's for the longer, that's for the shorter. That's the longer one. Okay. Oh, that's nice, Mark. Oh, that is Margaret is after her dad's mum. She lived with us for 18 years, grew up with her. That's nice. 
Hi Linda. You went through a couple when I said hi before, so <laughs> seven is yes. that one right there. We have Martha with us as well, but she's doing a very well at the moment. Hi. B8. B8. B8, that little tiny block. Hopefully, I can put something else in smaller. Working line. B9 is that big one. Just checking, did you link where you get these glass um, envelopes from? Not, I forgot to, and I looked at it yesterday too. Okay, um, do you want me to send you a message to remind you? Sure. Okay. So I'm just going to stick B8 inside this envelope because this is just going to fall all over, that way I can see it. So B10... B10 is a yellow piece of wood, which I'm not seeing. Oh, there it is. It's bare wood. B10 12 13 we already did seven. So this is ten. I'm only gonna put them in the small bags here. So I need ten. I don't know what eleven is yet. Twelve. Thirteen. You can see they're all tiny pieces, so I'm just going to put them all into one big envelope. Okay. So let's see what eleven is. It's not over there. The 11 is this piece. So that can go in this bag too. So all these four pieces all fit in here. So there's 10, 11, 12, and 13. All in one package, but labeled separately. Okay, now. I believe these are all different sizes. So that one. So, how's everybody today, ladies? What is up to? 20 is there. I believe I don't have to. Linda's hiding from my hubby. <laughs> that one. Maybe 18 and 17. And Linda is just peachy. Oh, I fancy a peach now. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, so not the hubby. It's our neighbour that's pestering her. Okay. Sorry about that, Linda. So 14, 15, and 16. I can see they're all the same wood. Yeah. Kind of the same thing. I'm assuming they're all going to go together. So we're 17 right here. And this too can go in there. Now you would have to leave the house to call me. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't waste his data just ringing me from the same house. It's 18. This goes faster like this. 18. It's nice how you've got the, the picture of the item as well. Yeah, I don't have to sit here and measure these now. Remember how I had to meet, measure each piece? Oh, I'm sorry, Sandy. Sandy got booted for some reason. Oh, well, welcome back, Sandy. Yeah, we're back. He's with us. There's 20. There's 21. Put those in the envelope. So, start with 21. 20, All right, 19. Oh, I didn't put 19 in there. Oopsies. What did I do? I screwed up. Uh oh. Well, easily fixed. 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. There was a 24. <clears throat> There's 22. And I'm sure all these brown pieces are going to build something. 23. They can all go in this package here. And 24 is a yellow piece. So let's read. I already had that written out. <laughs> We'll just stick it in the back there. There's all the beads. That was done quick. <clears throat> so how come the book only went up to 23 when 24 existed? Oh, they screwed up. That one should have been... 23 and 24 they they made both of these 22 by mistake uh -huh. so c goes all the way up to 21 so i'm gonna write out some labels Uh, Sandy says, I've been a little paranoid since my Twitter just poofed from my p computer all of a sudden. That's okay, though, who wants it? Yeah, Twitter's been weird lately. Yeah. 
Oh, I like them little dot labels. Uh, really. Yeah. I got these from Amazon. Okay. And I will show you a picture of them. They're removable labels. And I think yeah. I said last time when I started doing this. They're called this right here. Removable labels, chroma label. Okay. Yep. Happy, happy organizing. That's what it says right <laughs> on the package. See? Happy organizing. From my beads, the size. And there is 1,000 labels per roll. Wow. It's a good deal. Yeah, I'm going to have to look for it. These are very tiny pieces. Pretty sure. Yes, Sandy, we don't want to go through that again. That was scary. All right. Your C3 can go there. C1 is this. C2. It's kind of like took all the guesswork out for you. It did. This is it's C2. a bit easier. C3. No, that's C4. Good morning, that's Cynthia. C3. Cynthia's with us. Hi, Cynthia. C6. I guess that dowel goes there. Well, then pointy thing. So along the when there's more than one piece, they put the number down twice. C7. Ah. Oh, that's a 16. There should be one, two, three, one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, nine, ten. There's ten of those. There is four of these. <laughs> oh, wait. They're different sizes or something. <clears throat> There's bigger ones. Okay, so those ones go there maybe. These ones are 12s. Those ones go there. Well, wow, it's just like jigsaws. That, that, and 21. There's the little triangles. And I guess these are on the next page. Oh, no. These are 15s here. That brown one goes underneath the one with the cut out. Oh, yeah. Where you think of that? Yeah. Yeah. And that goes there. Where? That's dust like, cover. Uh, you're missing a bit that's under, up from the little windows that you put in. Yeah, there. Well, it measures the same. Maybe it's, it's a window. Yep. It's a piece of glass for something. Yeah. Yep. I like jigsaw puzzles like this. <laughs> All right. Okay. Start with C1. Oops, it's half on, half off. E two, three is this. Mm -hmm. 
this is way easier having the diagram yeah see this is the part that i do like to do the organization it seems like i've done my paintings and i've got to organize them into little baggies Oh, that one's done. Five. Hi, Martha. Smile. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't either. I think it's just let me know we're all here, so. Five. This is way quicker with the diagram, honest to God. I hope they all come like this. Six, seven has two pieces. Are the other one from the same company? Nope. Oh, no, I might not. Uh, oh, there's slightly on this one then. Seven. These are all very tiny. Yeah. So I'm going to put only four pieces per package since they're all small and they're all easy to read in there. And I'll have room. Mm -hmm. See nine. Right here's ten. I wonder if they're stairs or slats. They're stairs. Yes. Is one trying to guess what the they are in the house as well. What about them two little triangles? Nope. See, 11 and 12 right here. <laughs> the other stairs are pretty tiny. <clears throat> this Man's come round this estate. Brilliant. No, thank you. Mm. 
Good morning, Cindy. <coughs> Where are you? Okay. Martha. What? Where are you? She's been here ages. I don't know. I just now look at the chat and it says good morning. Yeah. So maybe my chat's behind. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Any and one one is that little piece. Knitting. <coughs> oh, done. All the seeds are done. Okay. So that page is done. It says D. <coughs> Since this is good morning, Martha. So let's see how far D goes up. Please don't call it God. The head will get bigger. The 23. Uh. <laughs> oh, too thick. Okay, so. Yeah, those stickers would be ideal for my diamond paint and drills as well. Yep. I do go through thousands of them, little square stickers. Yeah, that would be perfect for the diamond painting. Yep, yep would be. Dump out this package. Okay. This has got lots of pieces. I'm glad they did this. I really am. Wow. So, I know that goes there. Do you think? Nah. There is <laughs> acrylic. I think that's a pond. Look at that weird one. Uh, it looks like the outline of the pond for the the bricks mm -hmm. or something. The yep. edging. Yep. Uh, mountains. Mm. That looks like a cook stove cover. Very easy to do. Yes. These are all the same. There's four long ones, four short ones. Those are the shorters. Now they're the longer ones. So easy. Yeah. Those are both 16, 22, and four of these. 
Look at that. How oh. easy. I sorted it out already. Easy peasy. All right. You're going to get all the kits and just be disgusted because I haven't done it for you. And the other kits. Easy peasy. Okay, well, I'm just going to package these. Hmm. I've got Grumpy looking for the dot. There's four. And I was muted. It doesn't help. I'm not saying I wish my package would get here. I don't want it sitting out for four hours in the cold. What package? Oh, I got some Chavit coming. I um, want it. Chavit, it's a top coat. Fresh wheat. That's how it should be. It's a fast top coat for nail polish. Top coat. Oh, are you going out? No. Well, I've got to go grocery shopping. That's why I cleaned the refrigerator out yesterday. Oh. I absolutely come out of everything. Literally. I did all my house cleaning, and by the time I was done, it was, I don't know, 20 to 2. I thought, I ain't going live at 20 to 2. <laughs> Why not? Mm -mm. A lot of people like afternoon. I know, but I'm just I, was exhausted. I thought about going in there last night and doing dotting, but it's like, eh, whatever. Sandy says, been trying to paint lately. It's been slow going. And Linda says, I missed you. <laughs> I missed you guys. <laughs> Ruby, what size dots are they? What? What size dots are they? What is oh, these say? dots? Yeah. Do they come in different sizes? Apparently, that's what Grumpy's asking. Yes, they do if they're glue dots. They're not glue dots. They're not glue dots. They're just labels. They're removable oh. labels. Removable labels. I think these are half inch. Half inch. Let me just make sure, though. Where's my ruler? So you just write on the dot what you want. Yeah. Yes, they are. They're half inch dots. Half an inch dots. Thank you. You're welcome. I've, I've got one to looking for it. Okay.
After you stick them on, do they peel off kind of easy or no? Yeah, they yeah. peel off. Look. That's why they say it's easy removable. They're removable stickers. Number. And they, they stick good, but they peel right off. Oh, sweet. They're not like a sticky note where that just eventually falls off. You know, sticky notes do that. I wonder if they're good enough to like paint to put the true color of a, a paint pot. What do you mean? I have a lot of paints that I can't tell the proper color of it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, you can. They're a matte finish. So I'm just wondering if they are strong enough to. Why not? Yeah. Well, I've got I've got rummage sale stickers that I put on mine, and they peel right off. So whatever you use, you have to glue them on. Okay. Especially the paint bottles. Well, that's no problem. Because I was just going to hole punch some little stickers out or bits of card just to. Do it well, your best bet go that way if you already got a little punch. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bought it specifically for the rosette. What are you working on, Linda? Anything? Are you just working through your cup of coffee? Mmm, coffee. Oh, I'm so excited for Debbie Baker. <laughs> yes. I know what it's like to be a grandma. <clears throat> and it is truly exciting. Oh, we're just doing a fabric covered journal. Cool. I wouldn't really, but okay. <clears throat> oh, my. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how fast this goes. <laughs> I can say it's spoiling you for the rest of us to come that don't do this. And I'm just reusing these envelopes. I've already used these. Yeah. Yep. Handy to use. There you go. All the D's are done already. All those pieces. Wow. Okay. And E. Uh, Linda says, I want to really move into the fabric of an open and have the album covers made, so why not? Yeah, why not? We would love to see pictures when we finish, Linda. All right, E goes all the way to 23.
tricky glue and fabric. I had to use spray yep. for that so the glue did not show through on the lighter fabric. This is the tiny pieces again. Did you hear that, Ruby? Sorry? No. Linda says, tricky gluing fabric. I had to use the spray glue for the back so the glue did not show through the front lighter fabric. On the lighter fabric. Yeah. Can you recommend anything? Oh, that was stupid. Well, Fabri-Tac glue is the best glue. If it's too then you use too much. I watched a video on Fabri-Tac and on an actual company in Beacon that made it. And they said that if you're if your glue is seeping through your fabric, you use too much glue. That's what it, that's what it said. So that's a little tip for you, Linda. Hope it helps. <laughs> yeah, I hope it does. Okay. So where do these little guys go? Right here. Both the same. They're both E4s. Two, three, E seven is a little tiny. That is tiny. We have one of these. E six. A smile line. <laughs> yeah. E fives. Uh, why is there only one of these? Oh, thirteen. There. Okay, two of those. What is this for? They're both the exact same size. There's only showing me one. Hmm. Those two go there. These four. Here. This one. Go here. And two smaller ones go here. These thicker ones go here. This goes there. There. Oh my God. Wow, that was so easy. Look at that. Oh my lord. <laughs> um, she says, not seeping, seeping, just very light fabric, and you would see the glue line. Oh. Okay. Hmm. If she's gluing it on the journal, that's kind of hard. It's inevitable to see the glue. Okay, I have to go take something because the front of my teeth, there's a big, huge, like, a canker. And it's making my teeth ache so much. Okay. Ugh. Well, it's I gotta go take it. An hour, so, yeah. I don't even know what will help that. But it's making it hard because it's right in the very front top of my tube. When I talk, it's all it's rubbing on it. Intermission ladies, if you want to make a copy, tea, sandwich, potty break. How's the balancing coming, Martha? Good. Just paying what bills I got here. Ooh, spay. Go to Beat Haven. 
A whole dollar seventy two for my scripts. Woohoo. <laughs> A little bit here, save a little bit there, spend it in Bead Haven. Okay, I think that's all I gotta do. Let's see, so minus 600, 500. Debbie, I will remind her when she comes back. Thank you for the I am done, 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 done. <laughs> Debbie and Sandy have the same idea. Tomorrow, my boat, my boat insurance is coming up. Wait, the 15th, I think. So I'm going to get a hold of Progressive tomorrow and get it put up on that one. And cancel freaking all state. You own a boat? Yeah, I have a boat. Oh, is that where Herb did his fishing? Eh? Did Herb use it to do fishing? We both used it for fishing. Oh, yeah. I forgot you do it too. Okay. But they won't let me keep it here, so. Yeah, but didn't you fish more up at the lake, up north? Yeah. So it's best to keep it up there. Yeah. There but go. to get it started, you have to connect it to water, and I have no water hooked up up there, so. Ah. Then you got to winterize it and all that stuff, and it's like, if they would let me keep it here, oh, yeah, it'd be great. I actually got another boat and a canoe over to his nephews and still haven't got over there to get it. All right, Sandy, she's got two boats and a canoe. She's really fancy posh. She's got a toy boat. Does that work? Does that count? A hat boat does. I've got a hat boat. I've got a gravy boat. A 17 foot tracker deep V. Yeah, that just went straight over my head. That's the size of your boat. Up north, yep. All right. That's huge. It is a big boat. I mean, we've got an 18 foot caravan. I don't know how big that is. God, it's got a double bed in, a kitchenette, and a dining room. Yeah. So, wow. Morning, Holly May. They're saying hi, Holly May. She went, Maria. Yeah. She wants, she wants her treats. Uh oh. That's another reason why I have to go is because she's like running out of her fancy feast treats. And I watched the weather this morning and the upper part of Michigan is all covered in ice. Like about 1.6 inch of ice. Uh oh, you be careful. And Thursday it's supposed to rain and ice or rain and snow. How's your back today? Um, feels a little better. Cool. I think getting there and cleaning that refrigerator helped it out a lot. Stretching yeah, the muscles back out. Yeah. A lot of people don't. They try to like comfort it, or you know, but you need to move it to get it to working again. Right. I mean, for a couple of days there, I wasn't moving much. No. Well, yeah, yeah stretch the muscles back out. Yeah. Uh, I will inform her when she comes back, Linda. Okay, fabric glue to cover. Now, got to wait for it to dry. Hmm. 
<laughs> Don't. <sighs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's... Uh, Last couple of days, people, we have been having yawning wars. <sighs> and she always starts it. Hey, the other day you started it. Well, it was late. <laughs> I know. Yeah, true, true. And it is half past four in the afternoon here, so it's nearly bedtime. Well, another 12 hours. Okay, so let me check on my... Let's see what they say about my delivery today. Now, every time I go to Amazon, they want me to just sign in. Yeah. I don't understand that. Do you stay signed in at all times? No, I exit out. I log out all the time. Yeah, me too. Well, no, I actually do not log out. I just leave. Oh, didn't do that. That's how people can get into your account. Would log out fully. Let's see. Ruby. <clears throat> yeah. Your ABC rinse with warm water, warm salty water. Sorry. Uh, Debbie has one on the underside of her tongue and one on her cheek. Mine isn't on. Mine is between. It's on my top tooth, between the teeth. And it's like something's caught under it, and it hurts so much. Well, they're saying rinse it with warm, salty water. Yeah, well, I'll do that after my show. I just took an Advil. Yeah. <laughs> um, Linda uh, has tried fabric glue to cover. Now got to wait for it to dry. I have a marble slab on my heater. It works great for lots of drying things. That's cool, Linda. Ooh, I have marble. Especially when you're having a hot flush, just lie across it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> e. I don't know. Let's see what that other guy's doing on his dollhouse. It looks like my tooth feels like it's abscess, and it's my front tooth that's a perfectly good tooth. Yeah. So nothing wrong with my teeth. <clears throat> well, you must have. Bit it's making my yeah. whole side of my face hurt. Yeah. Well, like all across the top teeth are all aching. Yeah. Yeah. You still have an abscess forming because something's lodged up between your gum and your tooth. That could be. And I brushed my teeth and it hurt so much after I brushed my teeth. Well, they say if you spit blood, you should go to a dentist. Yeah, I didn't spit any blood. Okay, you I didn't bleed. Yeah, if I probably would have scratched longer, it probably would have bled. Uh, Linda says you may have something stuck between there, and Debbie says try flossing. Yeah, I do floss a lot. Could it be that you've over flossed and maybe? I, I'm thinking flossing. maybe I took the end of the floss pick and might have done something last night. I don't know. I just know the bitch hurts. Yeah. Good morning, Sandra. Sandra's with us. It's very swollen because you can see it clearly. Yeah. Right in the front between my two middle top teeth. Ouch. Yeah, it's hurting. Uh, Sandra's with us. Hey, Sandra. How are you? Hey, Sandra. Sandy says warm, salty water will help remove anything, and the salt kills bacteria. So basically gargle. Yeah. I'm to, I might just stop and go do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it helps, yeah. Salt. Okay. Good morning, Radul. Hi, Radul. And Radul would like to know what you're working on. So can you see a picture, please? Yes, you can. 
One second. Oh, sorry, Linda says no goggle. Swish. Yeah. <laughs> I am working on this villa house right here. This one. It looks like a Chinese, like a villa. It's so pretty. And Chinese buildings, some of them are just so gorgeous. Especially with the rice paper between the wood. Yeah. Yeah, those are gorgeous and lit up. Yeah. Yeah, they have monsoons over there, so you would think the rice paper would disintegrate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand it. Probably treated. Yeah. Japanese pagoda garden, is it called? I don't know why pagoda is stuck in my head for some reason. Could be totally wrong. This is so quick, I'm telling you. But I like to keep them flat, not on top of each other. That way, I have no room. Mm -hmm. Box. Rajul wants to know where did you get it from? Amazon. Mm. Yeah, okay. Amazon, and I did link it in the group. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. want to look for it, Rajul, if you scroll scroll down in in the group, there is Amazon links and AliExpress links. I think. No, this is one of the ones I bought earlier. I don't know. I might have to look it up. Okay. I don't know if I posted these ones. Uh, let me just finish this row and I will go on a search for you. Oh, I'm just going to make a cup of coffee. Yay. Oh, I'm a cup then. I thought you were making one. Ladies, grumpy, being the evil, mean. So much faster. I wish they would all make the template sheets. <laughs> You're being spoiled. I'll say. Linda ordered a double boiler today. It should come today. I have a double. No, mine's a steamer. Never mind. It's not the same. And Sandy's just hit the like button. Yeah, smash that like button. Smash it. Oh, she couldn't find it at Christmas time. There was nowhere to find them. What? The double boiler. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly, you even found one now. You're lucky. Oh, my God. This piece is so tiny. This little tiny piece of gray wood. Look. Can that get any smaller? Oh, that's <laughs> important. <laughs> Obviously, it's important for <laughs> something. All right. Let me go and look for this house. All right. I'm still here. I'm just looking. If not, I'll go look on my Amazon and just link my Amazon. Be quicker. Yeah. No, it won't because I have to go back about four months. Oh, geez. Oh, that's right. You bought it a while back. Yeah, this one was one of the older ones I got. All those pieces fit in one envelope. So there's the E's. Done. Oh, that's the one with the piano. I did order the big, huge one, the $100 one. That one's coming, too. What? what? That one's coming with the dust cover, too. Um, Cindy, oh, sorry, Cynthia asks, have you had popcorn lately? 
No, no, I don't eat popcorn very often because it gets stuck in my teeth and I can't stand it. Me too. That's what's wrong with your mouth. What? If you've had popcorn and it's stuck I in have mouth. not. Okay. I went to the dentist like four months after I ate popcorn and they found a kernel in my gums. It's like, oh, God. Wow. <sighs> anyway, this is tough. That's why I don't like eating popcorn. I know you can buy the de-shelled whatever and make your own popcorn, but. I think it goes all the way up to 26. Okay. I uh, haven't had that popcorn since we lost Bandit because he was addicted to popcorn. Um, right. Can't find it in the links, so I will go on Amazon and have a look. DIY house. Well, too bad it wasn't really sunny today. I just had to freak and move. Okay, I'm going to go look for you guys. You need to go and gargle to sort your tooth out. I just hope this works. If not, I'm going to a dentist because I'm going out of my mind. Um, I found it. You uh, did? Wait. Yeah. I found it on the on the shopping channel on Amazon.com. Oh. I don't know if it'll let me put it in, but I will try. Is it a big link? Uh, yeah, to wait. Oh, you what thinker. Sometimes if it's like over the 200, if you just uh, back backspace a couple, it'll still allow you to get the same link. What do you mean backspace a couple? Well, if it's like 230 minus the 30, you still got the 200. You can Does still... my link work? Let me check. Oh, it's in two parts. It posted it in two parts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's going to work. Let me go see. Yes, it worked. Okay, that's the one I ordered, the big one. But that's, that's Amazon Canada. Yes, but that's the bigger house, which you can get from AliExpress for a lot cheaper. Yeah. And with the dust cover. That one I just linked doesn't come with the dust cover. I'll go to AliExpress. Thank you very much, Ruby. Wow, is that the new one you just ordered? Yes. Wow, one, two, three tiers. That's so cool. Isn't it gorgeous? And very pretty indeed. Yeah, it works fine. Really a lot of lights in that one. Yeah, that's a bigger one, but this one here, I'm gonna link you the AliExpress where I bought it because it comes with you can choose to have the music box, the dust cover. So and it's and it costs less than what that one I just posted with no dust cover. Wow. Yeah. So I'm just going to my orders here, and I'm going to dig it out of my orders. Yes, Linda, she's linking the the huge one, which is three stories high, and the smaller one, so you have a choice if anybody wants to get them. But, yes, it worked fine, Ruby. Thank you. Okay, so here is the AliExpress link for a lot cheaper. And you just, if you click on that link, um, it gives you the option for the 45, which is no music box, no dust cover, just the house. The second link is the one I ordered, which is LED plus music plus dust cover. Yeah. And the third one yeah. is LED plus music, so no dust cover. I chose the middle one because it had the dust cover yeah. and that's a big house and you definitely want a dust cover for that you know you don't want have to dust all that oh my goodness can you imagine <laughs> making a miniature duster just to dust it <laughs> <laughs> that's what you would have to do if you click on the second link in the yellow color 
that's the one that's got the music, the dust, LED. Is that going to fit? Is that going to fit in your cubby holes? No. Nope. Yeah, on the bottom shelf, I have a huge area where that will fit perfectly. I'm trying to find one for each side that's going to fill that space because it's so big. And then the next shelves up will fit all these smaller ones, like you know, no problem and easy to dust. That would fit lovely on that um, man-made mountain, Martha. Ooh. We watch well, I've watched someone make a diorama of a mountain and she's put all these little miniature doll houses that she's created on this mountain. Okay, I'm going really to go and rinse my mouth. Yeah, See if yeah. That helps some. I feel like it's swelling by the second. All right, go, go. I'll do what you need to do. Rajul, it's the last link that she put into the stream. That is what she's working on at the moment. This link, I'll, I'll repost it for you. There you go. Not now, of Linda. What's it about? Without giving me the whole story. Keep awake. 84 current cross. Okay. Let me copy that name down and go to Google. Okay. Oh, it's a biography, so it's based on a true story. Yes, yes, I'm reading about it right now. And it's got Anthony Hopkins in. I like him. Thank you, Linda. It's on my list to watch. I'll make a list of it in my book. 84. Is the book better than the movie? By what I know, all, move, all books are better than movies. Mm. By what I've heard. I'm just thinking if it would be easier to have it on. What is that feedback? I don't know. I've been hearing feedback. Because I can't see which screens 
activated at the time. I'm just wondering if I can find it on audio book while I'm busy doing classy stuff to listen to. Found three about her in the story so far. Okay. Well, it's not me because I've got my headset on, so there's no feedback. Yeah, but Sandy, my imagination goes the wrong way. I've got too much of imagination. Thank you, Linda. I will look for it. I'm going back to my name. Uh oh. I'm here. My dog loose. Me too, Linda. I worked in the school library for years. Oh, you got feedback. Okay. How? Yeah. Um, Ruby, can you tell where I'm getting feedback from? Martha can hear feedback. Uh, I can't hear feedback. Okay. Martha, maybe the pure speaker. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the only one that hears it. Oh, since you hear it too. Yep, I hear feedback. All right, I'll be quiet. I'll whisper. Well, once in a while, if you jump out and she brings you back in, it can stop. Okay, too many's hearing it. I'm jumping out and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm not hearing feedback at all. I am. From who? It's from Olivia. Oh. I have nothing. I haven't been saying nothing. There, I showed you what I'm suffering with right now. Go look. It is so painful, and it never started to hurt till I brushed my teeth. <clears throat> Going out of my mind, really. I need something to occupy it. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it hurts. And when I brushed it, I made it ten times worse. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, it's hurting. You got any of that um, stuff that you rub on your gums? Ambisol? I'm going to get Jeff maybe to stop and get me some. Is that 
I must have hit it with the toothbrush somehow. I don't know what I did, but I did not feel this till after I brushed my teeth. I was like, wow, my front teeth hurt. What the hell? And I look in the mirror and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, that's, that's definitely something. Yeah, it's hurting. Yeah, have him get you some Bambasol. At least till the swelling goes down. When's the last time you were at a dentist? I uh, don't remember. Maybe it's time you go to the dentist. Yeah. Olivia's knocking. Oh. Well, talk and see if that's any better because I didn't hear it. So I can't tell you if it was. Testing one, two, three. I still hear it. You hear it? Yeah. Oh, no, it's gone now. <laughs> Give up. Don't hear it. Which is weird because I've got a, a big headset on and there's no sound in the room. I hear it. sometimes what they say about um, technology is that you might be too close to one thing with your headset. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, yeah, that's definitely. I wonder if it's because my phone is right next to my microphone. It could be. That very well could be. Very Let well. Let me move my phone. How's that? Any better? Yep. Okay. So far. It was my phone. Oops. I'll just talk when I really have to. I still Not hear it. <laughs> I still hear it. Nothing you do? Changed. about now no don't hear it right anything testing maybe can you hear anything i don't hear it so i can't tell you yeah the ladies in chat would be the first one to yell at me there you go but Sorry, Martha would be the first one to yell, then the ladies will chirp in. Well, they'll, they'll tell you if they hear it, right? Yeah. Well, Sandra, aren't you lucky? <laughs> I'm sorry. You get to hear my accent double. This almost looks like it's a bed. I like all the brown pieces of wood. They're so nice. I love brown furniture. Oh, yeah. God. It's well made, put together nicely. Yeah, I think this is all the bed. That's the bed you wrap the fabric around. Something like that. Oh, what the heck? 
actually. I think I'm going to put this piece in here. Because I think that's all the bed. Whoopsies, didn't need to stick those together. Hi, Edith. Hi, Edith. Hi, Edith. There's a lot of wood pieces in here. So I like the fact that they give you wood and you don't have to kind of make it yourself. Because the wood is easy to glue together. I've seen on some screens they get the glue inside the box as well. Did you yeah, get that? Yeah, sometimes you, you get the glue, sometimes you don't. Okay. Yeah, it's saying that it's forbidden for them to ship it on the seas, overseas. All right. Yes, it is at the moment. Do you know why they're forbidden it? Yes, because it's flammable. Not just that. People are putting drugs inside the glue, and then they are, like, letting it dry out so they get their drugs back. Huh? Hmm. Oh, using it as a mule. I didn't know they did that. I didn't either. They find all sorts of ways to do it, though. Yes, if you're desperate. Okay, Magic, um, Amy was asking if you're all right. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you, Amy. She didn't know if it just looked painful, a picture of your mouth. It's very, very painful. I can't, I'm not lying to you. It's obsessed, abscessed, or, or it's just something stuck under there and I can't get it out. Yeah. And if it don't go away, I'm going to have to go to the dentist because it's driving me crazy. And it might could be more than what you think. What do you mean by that? Well, just the, for instance, it could be some type of a cancer. Oh, really? Well, that looks pretty horrid. Yeah. I'm saying that. When's the last time you've seen a dentist? And it would just appear like that? <laughs> well, Herb woke up one morning with a golf ball in, in his throat. It oh. can appear just like that. Huh. Thanks for scaring me. Well, I'm sorry, but it could be the truth. I didn't mean to scare you. It could have been one of your bristles decided, oh, I want to go inside here and poke you from your toothbrush. Right. It could be. It very well could be. Yeah. Well, I could feel it's very soft and swollen. It's not hard as a rock. To me, that would be cancer. 
but it's not hard believe me it's it's very soft I could poke it with a knife <laughs> Okay. Lots of little ones here, too. Holy cow. John asks, have your sinuses been bad? It could be a drain. Yes, my sinuses have been terrible. It could be a drainage from them. Yeah. Thank you, John. If it don't go away, I am going to go to the vet. And it got quiet. Why did it get quiet? Because I'm using push to talk. Oh, it's because she's writing down on dots. I was kept hearing the plastic and the plastic and the plastic. And then all of a sudden it quit. Jan says daughter lost a tooth from that. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's an echo. Well, the pain is starting to ease up. I think that Advil helped. Thank God. It's not so painful all along the right, my mouth. But uh, it could have from you gargling. I, yeah. I don't want to do that again. Well, now she says infection pushed it out. Okay. That's what it feels like, an infection. It very well could be. Oh, she's got it like right between her two front teeth. Right up into the gums. Yeah. Kind of an odd place for an infection to start, though. It's on the gums, Martha. It's pushing down and making my teeth separate. It's in the gum. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't feel a bit of that this morning. Popcorn for lunch, lol. And John says, oh, definitely sinuses. Now I'm going to have me a breakfast sandwich. That's all I got in here to eat. It actually did this once before. And you can ask Jeff. I showed it to him, I don't know, about six months ago. 
but it didn't swell up this much. It was a little bit sore and swollen, and now today it's very swollen, so I think it's majorly infected. And I suffer from a lot of sinus problems. Sometimes, honest to God, this is no word of a lie. Sometimes when I swallow at the back, you know how you swallow from the back of your throat? I can taste infection in the back and smell it in the back of my throat coming from my nasals. So that is disgusting. Um, okay, and people are just starting to eat their breakfast. <laughs> I'm just saying that's that's <laughs> how I know I've been suffering with it because just not too long ago I had that feeling. Yeah. Shirley's joined us and she says, I plead that you go to the dentist. Do not play with infections with teeth. The infection can go to the brain. Get help. Oh. You need antibiotics. Yes, I do. And someone's just wrapped a scrambled egg and cheese in a tortilla shell. Yum. Okay, enjoy. And hi, Shirley. Shirley's joined us. Hi, Shirley. We've missed you the last few days, Shirley. Where you been? Jan says, call your doctor, see if you can see him or her. I actually don't have a dentist anymore. My dentist retired, so when he retired, I never got another one. Edith said it can go to the blood. Her son had that. All right, so... Okay, no, so are you guys done scaring the frick out of me? Because nope. I'm about ready to lose my shit here. They are telling you to go to the doctors. Hey, I got it. Good. Okay. All right. Ouch. But Shirley's husband had top teeth done. Yes, five yesterday and four on Friday. Sandy says your primary care will work. Okay, enough. Ladies, let's not scare Ruby anymore. <laughs> she reads all this afterwards. Yeah, and it's starting to really freak me out guys okay Edith are you working on anything lately let's change the subject yep she's got all the things she knows what to do thank you all for caring yes thank you but it's starting to freak her out, so let's change the subject, please. Oh, Edith happened to move. Moving, Are you downsizing or upsizing? Going to be with family? We're nosy. I'm sorry. Yes, Sandy. Sandy says, I posted my update on painting on regular Facebook, but didn't post it in the group. Did I do that? Yes, Sandy would like to see.
Oh, you guys got me stressed out. I'm shaking. You will be fine. It just needs sorting out. Plan for the worst. Release at the, the best news. Oh, she's downsizing um, since her mum passed away. She can't afford the... Oh, I'm sorry, Edith. <coughs> what new stuff? You may find some new um, goodies. I'm sorry to hear about your mum, though. Well, just make sure you've got internet, Edith, so we can keep in contact. Oh, it's right there. You lost it in the picture, did you? Comfort, Edith. Uh, Edith got mum yesterday. And she will keep in contact. Good. very quiet Linda says when people <coughs> post pictures in the chat yes Linda That is it. The rest of it, I have to follow the book because just the wood pieces came on that. <clears throat> Not the rest of it. It's going to make it a hell of a lot easier. And a lot faster. Hi, Rhonda. Rhonda's with us. Rhonda.
Okay. Yay. Done with that. Okay, now F G H H and H. Lots of beats. A little portable toilet. <laughs> Porcelain throne. Light boxes. Oh crap. Yes. Level. This is cool paper. Gosh, can they get any smaller with that? Electrical tape. That's a bead. That's black wire. Silver. Silver. Sit that there. These are all papers and the fabrics. Wow, they really don't give you a whole lot of fabrics. Wow. Wow, there's not a whole lot of fabric, but that's okay because I have my own fabric and a lot of it. Like, how cheap is that? I have a lovely yellow honeysuckle, I think it is. And a little Fuck. Wow, those are different kinds of flowers. I think they represent bamboo shoots in the garden. Huh. I think I saw bamboo in the flower uh, on the. Yeah, it's um, in the outdoor garden. Little bag of rocks. These are all beads. Wooden beads. All kinds of stuff here. And <laughs> a toilet. <laughs> a bug. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to kind of separate these because I know they're going to have to be separated. Uh, Rhonda says, working on a new house, I see. Did I miss the final one, the other one, or finished on a weekend only? No, um, I, finished, I put the flowers on it this morning. It was just some flowers to put on it, but I'll show it to you because that one is done. Yeah, I think a lot of them were doing it along with you. Oh, okay. But it, it happens. <clears throat> All I did was add, like I said at the beginning of the video, this, the flowers, I couldn't follow her diagram on the flowers because they're just too clumped up, way too close together. So I just put the flowers wherever I wanted. I didn't follow their picture or diagram. I just put flowers everywhere. She used her own initiative. Yes, I used my own imagination. Just to... Wow, what do you call that? This down. Okay, so those are all kind of separated.
So this is what I did. Here's the finished house. I just put the flowers wherever. And I added some stamens. I put some up there to cover up all that mess up top. I put that greenery up here because it was too messy looking. I did put the purple flowers hanging down. But all of these flowers are not according to their photo. I just stuck them wherever. Wherever you saw glue, I put a flower in there, a, a greenery in it. So that's... Hide any mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the music box that goes in the back there. And this little fence is the lights. <laughs> There you go. The lights are all on. I see a lot of glue strings. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I put this here, this here where it says, but the flowers just put them wherever. Whatever you see fit. Like, it's really hard to see in the picture where the flowers go. So I just said, screw it. So I put stamens. I threw some stamens on, around here. Put, threw them in here. Put some in here because it was too much green. That's it. That's all I did. The rest of it I did all online. Except the door. I just glued the door back on. This door. But it's cute how they get you to put that picture in. And that's the reason, because you can see through the glass door. <laughs> that is cute. Yeah. And then I didn't do my lights very good, so my fence has to just sit in here. And it kind of leans. But that's okay. All my wiring isn't supposed to be like that. But Yeah. That, that was uh, truly a nightmare. To look at to try and look at their damn photos oh they sent two of these by mistake because it says h1 battery box one <laughs> okay keep it to respect oh, that's okay because here's the package from the ones i ordered the other day or not the other day. I ordered these from AliExpress. Except, see, this one takes double A's. This one takes triple A's. <laughs> yep. So I have an extra one. And this one here, I am not going to put into a, a package. There should be nine sets of lights. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yep. We don't need those in a package. This wiring will have to go in a package because I don't think that's wire for. Wow. Why did they wrap it like this? Because this is a nightmare to straighten out. Oh, I hate when they bend it so much. It's permanently kinked. Yeah, it's very kinked. Sandy, is that a Zentangle painting that we're doing? And show this is very beautiful. And Rhonda says, beautiful, very lovely. Yeah. It was, uh, Jam says beautiful. Our Ruby does do beautiful work. There we go. Put that all kinked, remove a bit. <clears throat> those warriors all right the next is h3 sticker white we ain't gonna bother with this because i don't use their their electrical tape sucks 
H4 yellow fabric. And there's another piece of wire. Boy, that's small. Okay. Probably could use an ironing, but. H. So we're going to just H4. I am not going to put some of this stuff in there. H5 is this. <clears throat> right? Yeah. Rhonda asked, is it one twenty four scale a new house or smaller? This is a one twelve scale, I believe, Rhonda. Oh. Yes. <clears throat> okay, Sandy. It, it looks untangly. What? Um, I asked, Sandy posted a picture of her drawing and painting, and I asked if it was a Zen tangle. This is really wrinkled. And it's super thin. I don't know if I'll use it or not. I'm just wondering where it would be on the picture. I don't know. It's the umbrella in the garden. Yeah, that's what it looks like. White flowers. What? It's what? An umbrella in the garden above the table. No, that's paper. Ah. I can't see it on the picture then. Is this a real piece? I'm getting my own piece of fabric. That is so ugly. <clears throat> I'm sure I can find that. Hi, Rhonda. How are you back? Are you okay? I was eating. Okay. Cool. And freezing. And the heat just now kicked on. It's like burr. We could have this pink polka dot. So I don't need a very big piece. So we'll just cut this out and call this one H something. But I'm not using that ugly piece. Call this one H seven. All right. And that red cloth, I don't know, man. What if I got in here for reds? This might match the other one. I'm going to cut a piece of this off. Actually, no. I'm going to fold it in half because I don't know how much I need. And I'm going to put it with this red cloth. Don't know if I like that. I got that. Let me see. This is Christmas fabric. So it's supposed to be. Even this one's cute. I kind of like this one. Sort of. Well, it's either the pillows on the bed or the cushions on the settee, from what I can see. The red is? Yeah. I think it's on the bed if you look on the picture. Yeah. And there's also two cushions on the table where they're doing bonsai tree. Then I'll use these. Okay. This red. Because this little cheapy, look at it. It's so thin. I'm not going to have fun making pillows with that. It's the only material I can see that's red with flowers on. 
Okay. Oh, oh I'm speechful. There we go. We'll just use that. Um. I'm just going to stick them all in here. There's the orange, the white. Non woven yellow fabric. 20 by 20. Not those are those. So H So H eight through to H ten. Okay. Now I am not going to put these all like this is ridiculously small. Anyway, just gonna try to keep this in me. It's only for making flowers that I probably won't even use. <laughs> There's the brown. Green, there's the red, and there's the red. All of these are all close together. So this is H. This is H12 through to H16. Now, this here, I'll go in here, just stuffing. But I'm not putting it in my stub. And it is H11. I'm just going to sit it over here with the lights because that's, you know, it's stuff. Okay. Well, a lot of those white beads, you've got a little cotton table. I think it's on the second Pink. level. Hang on. Pink. So this is all the way up to water on 18. All these pieces. Are up to 18. All right, now yeah. this here is the next one. That one is, <coughs> and this is the water. Oops, H19. My god, my mouth feels so much better since you took the pain meds or since you gargled. Probably both. It actually feels like the swelling is going down a little. Good. Don't forget, I'm already on an antibiotic right now. So, I don't know if that's going to help. I think antibiotics are made for different things. Yeah, you get different types of antibiotic to fight yeah. against the different germs. Yeah. Okay, so... And one might not necessarily help with another, but it's in your system. 
H20 is this one. Twenty one is the thicker one. Twenty two is wrapped iron brown. What? I don't see wrapped brown. Wrapped iron wire brown. Thirty sticks. 30 sticks of wrapped brown. There's a little thin bit at the top of the mat. Oh. No, 30 of them. It says oh. 30 sticks no, of wrapped that. iron wire in brown. I got this one stick. What am I missing here? I do not see 30 sticks of anything. Maybe you've got to cut that 30 times. If you miss that one, go back to it, see what's left after you've put everything else. I know what that's for, and that's to make that bonsai tree. Okay. And I don't see it here. Anywhere. And it's not in my fabrics. It's not stuck to anything. Weird. Yeah, it doesn't show me on the picture what a bonsai tree is. So It's that red tree. See the red tree on here? I'll show you. See that red tree? Oh, yes. Those little tiny branches are supposed to be those little brown 30 sticks of it. Because you put glue on it and then you roll it in this powdery red stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. well, those are not here. I don't no. see them. Am I missing something here? I don't see anything brown. 30 pieces of them. There is nothing here. There's, there's the green. Could it be wrapped into the light, maybe? Nope. Absolutely. Did I drop it? Maybe. I would have had to have dropped 30 sticks of them. Sandy says Advil is an anti-inflammatory, so I'm sure that's helping. Mm -hmm. Well, that is weird. I didn't get those. Damn. How am I going to make these? That is not going to be fun, guys. I don't even know what I would use. Hmm. It's not stuck in any of the other bags. Mm -mm. No, it's not stuck in anything. Okay. Wrapped iron wire brown. 30 sticks. And it's wire for the purpose of bending it. So you can make that tree shape. Yeah. And don't have that. Iron wire silver. Look at the smallest piece of silver wire they gave me. <laughs> Hmm. Good thing I had some wire left over. And it says paper wire iron right wire green one stick. Well, that's this one. Sandy, and that's what the browns should look like. Sandy says look for the instructions because you could have to cut and wrap with brown crepe paper. Well, I 
clearly get that because I got a gut feeling that might be what, but where's the wire for it? Where is the little tree? That's what I need to see. Yeah. Rhonda says use jewelry wire. <clears throat> Not that it should be there, it's in a kit. I understand switching out materials because you've got better and nicer material, but to have to add an ingredient because they haven't put it in. Really, they want me to make this bonsai tree. Banzai! Yeah, Banzai! Shows it as I already have all these sticks. Ow. Crackle, crackle. I don't know. Yep, apply glue to wrap 30 sticks of H22. I don't have 30 sticks of H22. Do you have anything of H22? H22 is those brown sticks, and they are not here at all. They're not inside that. They're not in there. They're not anywhere, really. Uh, um, you've been live two hours, we'll be time to stand up. Yeah, I'm going to go get a fresh coffee. Perfect. That's a bummer. All I can think, it's stuck in either material or paper. In no, I, you saw, I, I showed you everything here. Nothing. It's not in this. Not in the box. I think they gave me an extra one of these boxes instead of those sticks. <laughs> they want you to strip the wire out of it? I could use jewelry wire, but I'd have to damn well wrap it. And I'm not looking forward to that. It's annoying. That's yeah. for sure. It's very annoying. <laughs> and 30 sticks of them. Mm. Okay, coffee time, break time, intermission. Now I'm looking all around on the floor. There's nothing on the floor. There's nothing anywhere. Damn it. Oh, excuse I me. Okay. And I don't I have enough of that paper. I've got some that's from the previous one. It's not even brownish. It's green. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, Linda's been outside looking for a package and it's not there. It's damn cold outside. And that's the biggest. Yeah, that's not enough wire. I need more 20 gauge wire. This rose gold's not enough. Do I have to my door here? Uh, no. I think you took it all over. Oh, God, I don't want to dig in my beading stuff. I'll dig in your beading stuff. Go right ahead. <laughs> scrum it, scrum it, scrum it. That's 20 gauge. 
I think I emptied all the 20 gauge. I think all the wipes for the, the nose wipe for the mask. Oh, damn. Hey. I got an idea. Why can't I use green? Can we flourish one? This is floral wire. Yeah, but it's it, pretty thin. But I'm sure that that's going to work because I am not going to sit here and wrap all this. Not going to do that. I will just dip those in glue and then roll them around. That's what it will do. I'll be back. I want to make myself a hot cup of coffee now that that pain has subsided. What are you barking at? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Shirley, the postal system is not back to normal yet, so there's still a lot of delays. I want snow. What you working on, Martha? Martha!
The only thing I'm worried about this wire is not holding the weight. That's what's going <clears> to <throat> screw up. <coughs> it's not. How big are the pieces? They are. Hundred and forty milliliters millimeters. Ooh, where is millimeters? So So I need thirty pieces. Fourteen centimeters? Yep. Yeah. That's fourteen centimeters. You just knock the zero off the end. Uh, yeah. So let's cut 30 of these so I don't have to do it. Too small. Okay. So I'm going to cut through a bunch. Just make my life a little easier. I'm just hoping to turn up somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Two, four, six, eight, <laughs> ten, twelve. Apparently, Texas is under snow. Twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. You wouldn't miss that many. No. It's got to be missing. There we go. Three more pieces will give me 30. Oops. And I'm not going to bother wrapping these. <laughs> You're already green. Well, I would have had to, to the actual, the, the trees got brown in it. Oh. They're not green. Yeah, the bark. Yes. So there is 30 that they did not give me. And for me to have to sit here and wrap each one of them with the paper, forget it. Not doing it. <laughs> No can do. So that solved that. Yep. So I'll just put this in with that. Maybe it could use it. I don't know. Uh, Rajul had snow on Sunday and it's very cold in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas, I think. 22. There is my H22, guys. I made it. Now, H23 is this. Yeah, these are all to go in the pot in the shed. Not pot and shed, pot and room. So 23 is the little silver piece with rip off. Twenty-three. Question for you, Ruby. If you had to pick five colors, what would be your favorite colors? Um, purple, purple, teal, pink, um, sage green, and red. Red. No black? And black, definitely black. Mm. Silver? 
Yep. H25. H25 are which ones are those? These ones? Yep. I wish we had snow. I've missed it this year. The ink that you have to do your edging, uh, is it antiquing that you call it? <coughs> yes. Would that work on the green of them wire that you've just done? No. Okay. That ink don't stick that good to wire. It barely um, stays good on paper. <laughs> yeah. No. I was just wondering if it would stain it if that would be a quick fix. I could paint them and I'm not bothering. No, no. Sandy, I am making a woolen hat for myself <coughs> at the moment. And um, I always ask random questions. Eight, nine. I believe it is. I'm half colorblind, so people tell what they like the colors. It gives me an idea of grouping of colors that go together. I don't even know if this is right, but it's... <laughs> no, it's my hat. No, uh, <laughs> it's going to have to look right. I just like asking people for groups of colors to see what their taste is and colors that go together. Yeah. I don't recognize a lot of the colors. Oh, Sandy says, put my hat in your box. Okay. <laughs> Dried flower red. That would be this one. Wait. Is it this one? Dried flower pink. So this one is H thirty one. Martha's very quiet. I'm on Amazon. He 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 he. Uh oh. Cool. What are you buying? Everything. <laughs> Been there, done that, got the crap to show it.
Sandy, I am actually knitting a hat. I'm going to take 236 rows for my head. Oh, I'm using size four needles, so they're very small. Olivia. Yes. The liquid tape that you put around your fingernails, how long does it take to dry? Uh, um, what? There's so much feedback. I don't hear it. Um, I would say a couple of minutes. That's it. It depends how thick you put it on. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering. I I didn't know that. Yeah. But just be careful in case you've got a allergy to latex. are all stuck together. <laughs> wow. It's like they've dyed them and just plonked them in. They're literally stuck. So this this kit is good in some ways and not in others. Well, it, I, I'm not saying they're going to short everyone those stems. No, no. They sure did me. But you can only go by what you have. Yes. Edith wants to make. Okay, sorry, Edith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We won't tell her, Edith. And that's so sweet of you. In the banks, right? Straight into the bag, in the back of the neck. Um, what is this for? Looks like a mirror. I think it's the kitchen sink, to be honest with you. Where is that piece? Corrugated reflective paper silver. Okay, so that goes in with all these papers here. In here, right in the front of those. There we go. Now, the pebbles are next, which. Yuck, dusty. H39. Yeah, they are kind of dusty looking. We're just going to leave those out. Mm -hmm. And for this here toilet, I don't really need to 
put that in a bag. The rest of these have to go in bags. Kathy is sweet to everybody. Edith, she's just a sweet person. I messaged Kathy and I haven't heard back from her. No, me either. I messaged her this morning. All right. Hope everything's all right with her because I I sent her that message a couple of days ago. And I know Martha got a friend request, but we haven't heard anything else. From Kathy? Yeah. Oh, I always thought they were friends. They are. I just don't know why. Oh. Yeah, that's a bit odd. Yeah. All right. Yes, we'll be recording this column beads. H40 is <clears throat> wood. Beads. Or wood beads. H41 are four of the smaller wooden beads. And I see three. <laughs> there should be four. Is it stuck maybe in another bead? one stuck in there. <laughs> that ain't it. <clears throat> I'm looking at all the UV gel polishes, you know, like the UV lamp kits and stuff. And Oh, wait, it's only three. A lot of them colors I really don't like. Okay. Each 42 is these two beads. Are we done yet? Almost. I am frozen. Totally frozen. Martha? Yeah? Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> I guess I should put the blanket around me, huh? Sorry. Right. Yeah, I've got nowhere to saw me yet. <laughs> Oh no, Edith. Um, Edith built a whole cup of soda on her laptop. No, it's no. Oh no, Edith. That's not good. Oh, Sandy's going to have to do school with six year old grandson. Not look forward to that crap. Oh. Edith needs a sippy cup. Or a bib. She needs a lid on her cup. Or a little cook. One of those fell out. Well, I fell out. One of my little wooden beads. So that was supposed to be three. I was counting the wrong one. Okay. Okay. Four are <clears throat> two, three, 
two big red beads. Uh, where's Ruby gone, Linda? Linda says, I don't want Ruby to leave. No. What? What? Where are you going, Ruby? I don't know. <laughs> Where am I going? I don't know, but can we talk? <clears throat> I meant was she done packaging all her stuff up, not that she was leaving. Oh, <laughs> no, we're still packaging. H45, it's one white. <clears throat> white and about. What am I looking for here? White and a bell. A white. Bell. This might be it. No. Hanging bell. White. Okay. This is not it. Well, there's two others. Sure, it ain't in a different package. Don't look like it. Because some of mine were in different packages. It's we shaped like this. Being through all this. It says one hanging bell. White. Hanging bell white. Oh, two oh. of them. Oh, <coughs> there's two browns. They're not white. Well, can we leave that one till the end, see if it turns up? It's nowhere else in here for the brown ones, so it has to be these two. Okay. Yeah. 47 is long. Yeah. Paint it? No, it could stay white. The wood's nice. H47 is the barrels. Linda, the people make me spit my coffee out, and it all I have had to get an anti dip or drip keyboard. Terrible. I, I, I have a habit of eating right here on my table where my keyboard is. Because, you know, why go sit at the coffee, at the kitchen table by myself, right? So yeah. when I, like, have something real juicy, like my crab legs, I lay a towel over my computer. <laughs> I, I do. try not to eat next to my PC. What do you eat? Death by coffee. Sometimes I can be at my PC for... Nine ten hours, no problem. These are wood. From the moment you get up to the moment you go to bed. Um, sometimes I've done it before. Yeah, when I'm playing a game and I can't leave. Yeah. Especially Black Desert Online. Hi online. Pamela. Hi Pamela. Hi. Sorry, I said oh, yeah, when I first got mine, I was playing Farmville like 16 hours a day. Yeah. Oh, no, Farmville, no, no. I mean a proper game. Yeah, I got out of Farmville. Yeah, me too. After Herb died, it's like, okay, I'm done. But I've played my MFO games for over 15 years, so like Tibia and... Black Legend Online. I've even played World of Warcraft, but I wasn't into that. And of course, the people I play with are all American, so I was on the time zone. Again. Uh, <clears throat> I need some more bags. Okay. What is it that the chrome polish, you know, the mirror? Yeah. Yeah. What does that stick to? Top coat. Which one? Any top coat. If you're doing gel, it's a gel to UV top coat. If it's sesh feet, it will stick to that after you've top coated it. It will stick to Chevy. Chevy, yes. Huh. Okay. I can test it out later if you would like. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll test it out. Well, later. actually, I could check that out too myself. But I it's thought okay. I did that, or did I put it over regular polish? I tried it once. Yeah, it didn't um, chrome. It didn't chrome. Yeah. Why does it only stick to top coat? Um, it's because of the um, inhibition layer. I want to say. Oh. Right. I know um, Kirsty, she likes to put it on a top coat and then she'll put top coat in a design on top of the chrome. Right. Seal it in a light and then wipe it away so all the, the, the chrome that hasn't had a top coat gets wiped away and it leaves pretty patterns. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. Oh my God! I've got a little rubber ducky. <laughs> a rubber ducky. Look oh. at that one die die put together. She had a little tiny elephant. Oh, that was so freaking cute. It was. Oh, they're so cute. What else did she have? Oh, she had a little um. It was like a globe, but it had a cut out. You know how you used to put plants inside of a globe, and you could water it and. It was like one of them globes. What was that other? The thing in Paris, the Eiffel Tower. She had yeah. a little Eiffel Tower with her too. Nice. Okay, there's kind of a starter kit. Well, just remember, Martha, if you go on, like, nail nails, you can buy individual colors. You don't have to have the sets. All right. Well, I was just looking for maybe a little UV light okay. with some colors. And here's got some pinks and purples. Uh, I, wish I could send you some, but we're not allowed. Right. I think this one's got even a matte top coat. Yeah. And it's only $20 for the set with the little portable thing. <laughs> you falling into my trap. Yeah, but I'm also thinking, that, well, watching that other thing this morning, he was doing a lot of stuff with resin. Yep. You do resin, it's like, hmm. I'm sorry, Ruby. We're back with you. Oh, that's okay. I'm just doing this. Don't fret. Linda says, wasn't watching. Martha screamed the crap out of me yelling hello. <laughs> uh -huh. Yay, I scared somebody today. Woohoo. Linda, she does it regular. You say good morning to the ladies, and then she moves out and she says boo. All right. Eat some more envelopes. Halloween lives all year round in all of us. Well, at least me anyway. Uh, only in America. Uh, so let's see. Right, put my knitting away. I've had enough for now. This is different colors of gel polish base color. Glossy taco. Matte taco. Nail dryer. Matte taco. Just be careful, Martha. You can either get it in a pot or in a, a a bottle with a brush. The pot does not come with brushes, so you have to order brushes as well as. For gel? Yeah. Polish? Yeah. Ew. I'll show you later. So just make sure it says the Well, bottom. I know some of the pots you got to put on with a brush. That's yeah. not what I'm looking for. No, but sometimes the fellas don't distinguish between the two. They just sell gel polish. So just make sure it says 14 milliliter bottles. Yeah. Yeah, I've been stung a couple of times like that. Oh, 
Well, here, I'll put this in kittens and you look at it. Okay. Let me cut my holes. Okay, eight, seven. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff that I really don't need, but it's only 20 bucks. Oh, they're, so, the box. they're on the bottom, and that. they're only seven look milliliters, so they're only half a bottle. Well, that's okay. okay. I'm just looking, just looking. That's the thing. Sometimes they don't tell you, and it's only like a teeny weeny that you can't even do one set of nails. Because it's only a small bottle. Well, how, where'd you find the size of the bottle? It's on the bottle. Are you looking at the picture? Yeah. Oh, seven milliliter. Oh. Uh, uh, no point two fluid ounces. Not very much. Oh, now there's some pretty colors. Okay. Are those donuts or rubber rings? They're only $24. Okay, let's see what it says here. Oh, there's the donuts, John. Glossy, matte, and base. There's a little pink bead up near your bag, Ruby. Yeah, I know. It's okay. just pieces of flower steaming. Okay. I didn't want you to lose it. That is pretty pretty. Then it says those are itty bitty pieces, Ruby. Yep. But now they're all in order. Easy to get at. Salted, everything. Yes. Much, much easier. Get out the magnifying glass. Ruby's got really good eyesight for these. It amazes me. No, I wear I wear glasses. Yeah, but you don't wear like magnifying glasses on top of your glasses. No. No. Like Ali does. <laughs> I have to. I'm going blind. I really need to go to the opticians again. There we go. Everything is done and sorted all into this box. All wow. Into look and at that. Look nothing that. else to look for. Whoa, no. Don't pop up. I wish some of these had mix and match where you could pick your own colors. You can get one, Mom. There. Look at that. There's all the pieces, except for a few that are inside the box that are just common sense pieces. I'm just going to keep that wire in case I need it. <coughs> First thing I'm making is fabric. Oh, it's a dining room table. <coughs> All right. Put this stuff away. I wonder if Rumpy found that. I sent him looking for the dot. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my coffee cup's empty again. Dang it, I hate when that happens. I know. I want a magic fill refillable one. Yeah. I don't need this. A never ending supply. Mm -hmm. I wish I had one on my tea, then I wouldn't have to make it every three days. Put these back. I don't need these. Thank you. 
hourly stand up. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's go back to goodies. Okay, I need room here. And that's they didn't give me a piece of sandpaper. And okay. house, do you build everything that goes into the house first, or do you build the house and then put I follow it the instructions? Does it fit by bit? Yes. So that's going to go there. Open we are up. done with these, which I don't need anymore. Unless these are templates, which I better keep these in case these are templates. Yeah. Because I didn't get template sheets. See? We'll see. I'm not going to throw those away just in case. So Let this stuff. I was looking for the waiter, but he never appears. Ooh, naked waiter. Ooh. All right. Those are batteries that I need for that box. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're AAAs. There, all my workstations back. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. They're yeah. organized. AGG glow and the three in one glow. No, I don't. Oh, the AGG is back there, but this is um, three in one. And what about the silly glow? And that is the silly glue. This is three in one. This is not art glitter glue. Okay. Art glitter glue is in my new bottle. That's the old bottle. All right. Tracy Moody says, I'm building a fairy tale homestead and was wondering if you always glue everything down inside. Yes. Everything gets glued inside because the minute you move it, you're going to have a disaster. Everything's going to fall over and then it's going to frustrate you to no end. So you are really best to glue every single thing down inside that. that um, um, yeah. Hi, Tracy. Tracy Moody. Sandy asks, are you going to use a silicon mat? I use my silicone mat only for rubbing glue all over paper because I smear it right off. And in um, that way, I won't have to worry about it. And Tracy also asks, even the furniture. Yes, everything gets glued down. Everything is glued down, yes. Because in this house here, everything is glued in here. Nothing is going to move in this house. Mm -hmm. Everything is glued. Furniture, everything. It's all glued down. Are oh, you welcome, Tracy? That's what we're here for, to answer questions if we can. Yeah, because that way you can move it around, you can put the dust cover on it. Like in that, if you glue it all down, you're able to move it around. It, this way you're fidgeting. Like if I didn't glue all that, and I've watched a lot of videos where the, the people make these, they glue everything down. Everything gets glued. Oh, that coffee's good. Especially if you glue the the casing over it, there's no way to get back in it to fix it. You have to glue everything down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would that's total total makes sense. Oops, I forgot to put this back. Uh oh. Just put that in there. And anybody name that tune. It's driving us nuts. Uh, what? The tune of the house. It's the same tune on. I still house. can't figure it out. That's why I'm asking. All right, break time. Oh, get up. Hey, Tracy. Go potty. Hey, Andy. Okay. A fairy tale homestead. Ooh, that sounds fun. Pictures, please. That's got to be tiny, tiny, tiny stuff. Hi, Tracy. Uh, Linda's looking for a, a waiter. Chippendale? Oh, come on. I don't think it's played again, Sam. 
I don't think it's from Casablanca. Oh, it's the one Ruby made. Oh, I need to stand up. My bottom's gone to sleep. Oh, I had to. It felt good to get up. It's the one Ruby made. Oh. Let me play that tune again. <laughs> big, the big two-story yellow house. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that one was cute, wasn't it? I'd like to make a little fairy house from scratch. Period. Well, it might be that I'm not getting my groceries today. I should have went earlier this morning, but I'm waiting on a package so it won't freeze and break and be ruined. Yeah, I've never heard of a top coat freeze and break and be ruined. Well, if it's out in the cold like it is today, it probably could be. Uh, I've never heard of it, so, okay. Well, I'd be afraid that nail, you know, the Chevite. Chez yeah. Top coat can freeze. I don't know. Tracy, nobody is as fast as Ruby. She just belts them out. Um, where's my magnifying glass? I can't read it. You only go as fast as you can work. Die dies pretty quick. We're having homemade chili over macaroni and cheese. You're having that over macaroni and cheese? Ooh. That sounds interesting. You got a craft. Let's see. Chili goulash. There, the boys laughed at me one time because I made chili and I, I put noodles in it. I made chili goulash. But they ate it up. <laughs> or cheesy macaroni. God, I bet you that would be good. Because I love cheese in my chili. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about storing it above a, a temperature. Smoked sausage and mac and cheese. Okay. Smoked sausage. Oh, I love smoked sausage. You can have mine. I don't like it. Kind of like steak and shakes, chili mac. I'm telling what my hubby cooks. Yes, Sandy, that's me too. <laughs> uh oh, dog's out. I might go out and get me something for dinner. And if I do that, I could go to Gordon's and get my package of chicken tenders I want. If I go grocery shopping, I'm going right straight to Myers. 
I got gobs of bottles to take back. Oh, Edith wants a watermelon. Ooh, watermelon sounds good. I need to put fruit on my list, too. Apple. But the thing about me buying fruit is I could buy two apples, eat one of them, and the other one goes bad. Okay. I just, I don't know. I like fruit, but I don't. You've got to fancy it before you eat it. Yeah. yeah. Like a bag of grapes. I go buy a bag of grapes. I find the smallest bag. Well, I've got to have the biggest. <laughs> oh, well, of course you would. <laughs> yep. I'm I'm better off actually buying them little tiny like little fruit bowls where you can have you know the pack lunch cups. Mm -hmm. Okay, I remember what I did last night. Oh, you did? Wow. Yes. When I was flossing, I remember when I flossed up there, I went right in too deep. Do you ever do that? No. Okay, well, I floss really hard, and I scrub my teeth with the floss, and I did that in the middle, and the, I did have a little bit of blood last night. Now I know why it's all swollen like that. Yeah, you've cut yeah, it. you cut your skin. Yeah, and now it's all infected. Oh, my God, I have to make sushi? <laughs> yeah. I have to make sushi. I make sushi. Excuse me. And that's, that's one of the first things I got to make. So, first things first, we have to make G1 and G2. I got a huge head of cauliflower from Whole Foods. I steamed it last night, and we got the rest of that. Huge. Cut of gums. G1 and G2. Look how easy it is to find your parts. Perfect. Yep, this is the table that all the sushi is going on. This is too cute. I shouldn't even peel these off. I should actually leave these on. Wow. Put them, because I can reuse them and I don't have to sit here and write them all out again. Okay. For the next house. Cool. Come back. Okay. And then you know one each packet's empty, it's done. Right. Cool. So let's glue this. Oh my god, I've only sat at one of them uh, tables once and I got stuck. Stuck. Yeah, I was sat cross legged and my knees were underneath the table and I couldn't uncross my legs. To get out of under the table. Oh, you mean, yeah. Yeah, I got stuck. <laughs> I couldn't get back up. And it was a beautiful table. Black lacquer with oh. flowers. Beautiful. Well, there's the table. That's a short-ass table. Yeah, yeah. It's more like a lap tray, isn't it? Yeah. Or a bed lap tray. I think it's one of the ones of the tables that you sit down on, on the yeah. ground, on a yeah. cushion. Yeah, cross legs. Sure. Yeah. Whoa. So I'm just going to let that upside down and dry. Oh, Linda doesn't like sushi. Nope, gives her the willies. <laughs> okay. Paste 1-10, huh? What's 1-10? One 1-10. Dash ten? One dash ten. No, I don't know. I don't either. I don't get that. Okay. It's 1 through 10? No, it's the fabric. Oh. The fabric is H6. Oh. Okay. I don't know. I will use it because it is very Japanese looking. I don't know. We'll see. I couldn't see it on the main picture. That's the problem I was having. Is this the piece? Oh, my God. I can't see it. I can't tell. It's the only red piece of fabric. Oh, wait. No. There's also this one. 
That's the tablecloth. That is the lamp. What the heck is that? There was a tiny little bit of red. Um, it was like a napkin. Okay. I'm just going to use that. Um, it's a, only a teeny weeny little bit of red. Yeah. Paste is shown. Like, they don't even tell you how big to cut it. These instructions are not very detailed like most of them are. Did you keep that little bit of fabric? But it doesn't tell you the piece to cut. The size. Oh, God. I guess you just got to guess. Well, from what I'm looking on the instructions, it looks like that little piece that you had. It was a teeny little square. Now, I'm going to cut my own. Okay. Linda, in some places, they come along and lift the table off your lap so you can climb out of it. Sandy says it's in the envelope with the rest of the material. It is. Supposedly. It's a little square of red cloth. That's this right there. No, no, no. It's smaller than that. It's just a plain red piece of material. It's in the envelope, Ruby. It's in the envelope. I'm going to look, but... Where are these? There's that one. There's that one. Circle of doom. Nope. There's no little piece of red. I, I'm sure it was this one. You didn't throw it, did you? Uh, a piece of H6. No. Yeah, solid color already cooked. No, it's not in here. But I was going to use it. No, you didn't like it because it was just a teeny little bit. Yeah, I didn't want it, so I'm going to use this one. Okay. Let's see if this fits on here. No solid color already cut. So it's too I long. Don't, I don't think it went across there. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Oh, Ruby's going to do what Ruby's going to do, and it'll look fabulous. <laughs> and you really don't have to use what they give you. You use your own. Exactly. Stuff. Sandy, let's trust the master. There. That's cute. Okay. I that like it. Cute. I think there is a piece of fabric like that. I don't know where I put it. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Exacto mundo, Sandy says. With the next, right, Sandy? Well, I read it, so. Yeah. <laughs> we know, Sandy. We know. Yeah. <laughs> we understand gibberish. Yeah. There. That's cute. Oh, uh -huh. The sun's come home. It is really fun to make these things, and when you get it all done and completed, you, your self-esteem's gone up, and you feel good that you finished something. And I prefer to watch others do it because I know my limitations. Now I need five millimeters of H20. 
H look 20. Uh, let's see. Need a bigger box. And these green apples are H56. H56 and that little cutting board is G25. G23, G24, G25. I just need one, right? I'm actually not even going to cut this till I stick it into the the bead. Sandra says, "Oh boy, did I get sidetracked? I had to mute my screen because hubby called, and then forgot I had YouTube playing, so I went on my merry morning." <laughs> These are supposed to be apples. Ladies, I will be right back. Okay. Yeah, I gotta stop. I, I gotta stop flossing the way I do because I've been hurting my teeth a lot lately doing that. There we go. I just made a plate of apples. So let's trim this bit. It's a bit long. It's a bit long. Oops. Not that off. Oh, that's so stinking cute. Whoa, the sun. The sun. Sun. Here's the apples. I can't show you. Sun, take a hike. There we go. All right, this is H20, right? And I am done with this for now. Let's put this back. 18, 20. Now, this is going to sit on this table. Little cutting board too, look at how cute. That goes on there. Next, I need G22. G22. I just need one. I just need one by the looks of it. Okay, and then I need and the frick is that? Okay. 
I don't get what that is, buddy. I bet you I know what those are. Yeah. There was the tablecloth right there. One. Oh my goodness. Oh well. We don't need it now. I, I didn't know what, what one was. I thought it was the fabric. Okay, so I need this, and I also need uh, one four. I could always take that off and put the real paper one on. What do you guys think? Leave it or put the paper? Whoops! Put the paper one on. I don't really like this. So I'm going to put the paper one on. Whoops. Put the real one that it belongs. This one looks stupid. Because it frays. So we'll put the real one on. Now that we have this determined what these number ones are, that's awesome. Bitch, if I look up, y'all said leave it. Nope, they didn't. You know best. I'm back, by the way. Come back. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Edith, stay safe. She says, be back later. Bye, all. Bye, Edith. Stay safe. Hope your computer's okay. Sandra, do you like knitting? Is that more to your liking? All right. More glue, more glue. I like that better. Looks like a Japanese table now. Or Chinese. Well, Press so hard, boobs. That's not cured yet. I'm going to put a wee bit of glue there.
there. Now let's see how our little cutting board of green apples. <laughs> I don't know if those are apples or what they are. All right, so I need to cut out this guy, little fishy. This is so darn cute what they've done. This is going to be super elegant, this one. And I like elegant. It is cute. Yeah. Normally, I would use art glitter glue, but I don't feel like reaching for it. So we're just going to glue it on with this clear glue. Glue our little fishy on. No wonder it didn't give me measurements because <laughs> it's not yeah. included with the paper. I wonder what kind of fish it is. Heron? Cod? I thought you were leaving the stickers on. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry. Why did I take that off? I got to yeah. remember that. Y used to it. <laughs> oh, my God. This is, I guess, what you would call seaweed that goes on the outside of the sushis. <clears throat> Great. Where's my little wooden dowel? Because that thing was handy. Yes. Sandra, I would love to see practice photo of your practicing. So I need to cut a piece of this exact size. I only know how to go back and forwards, so <laughs> yeah. So there's that. <clears throat> and what was this again? Because I want to put this back. And I need Place it on H9. This is H9. Uh, where's the cutting board? Is it not to the side? H9. G. H8. H9 goes there. Cool. And I need I need G twenty six I want to find my little dowel. I watch uh, Molly Bird a lot. She's a good teacher. Actually, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just... Because all of this stuff needs to learn to roll up. All of it. So, even this stuff here. I've got to wrap it. Is that the rice? Yeah. Wow. That's supposed to represent the rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, our ruby here crochets, so if you need any help. Oh, I got ahead of myself. I was working on the fish. What is that? H8 and H9. 
OK. Where is that? I just had it. H8. Yes, sorry, that's where I was going wrong. I was trying to do it in English wave, but using US wave form. Not good. OK, H8 and H9. Eight millimeters by eight millimeters. Eight by eight millimeters. Okay. So that would be that little tiny spot right there. Five, six. Wow. Is that the wasabi? No, that's green. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of goodie this is, but It's some kind of sushi. What? I don't know. Could be salmon. Yeah, probably. Flakes of salmon. Yep. But it's tiny. <laughs> yeah. The hell they went on, yep. <clears throat> they sure did. I'm just gonna put them on here. Is the fish a platter and you just roll yeah. it up on it or yeah, it's a platter. Yeah, it looks like salmon on top of the rice. I couldn't think of anything else. It's yeah, that yeah. red. It's a salmony color too. That oh, could be red snapper. I know they use that. Okay. There is a platter of yummy something. Where's my apples gone? Oh, they're on the table. These kind of blend. Oh, they go here. All right, now I need a piece this wide. Yep, yeah, Sandy, you could be right. Uh, Sandy says it could be tuna. Oh, yeah. Raw tuna. And Jan says cute. Yes, it is cute. So one... Two, three. So we'll just stick all this back in here. Who knows if I'll need it again, but where's that white piece? Did I use it? No, right there. Okay, let's. Let's do this. I'm just wondering if those 30 sticks are actually paper. What do you mean? No, it says okay. wire. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, wire wrapped, brown wire wrapped something. Yeah. Huh? Just with the tablecloth getting mixed up, I just wondered if that also misunderstood. I should come up closer because this kind of stuff you guys can't see <clears throat> from a far away. And I was closer doing it on the other one too. How's that? That's perfect. Ladies, what do you say? Is that better? Sandy says much. Thank you. Good. <laughs> it just came undone. Dirty pygmy. Back up and hold it. <clears throat> the other day, um, I was going through my sewing box, um, my knitting box, sorry. Yeah. And you know the little weird shaped sticks um, for like turning your wool around in a pattern yep i had one of them on the top lip and i i was just resting it there and martha started calling me the little pygmy uh -huh. <laughs> sorry you made me laugh way to go martha yeah oh sandy's hungry now for sushi yuck i hate sushi Ugh. and San Sandy, are you watching on an iPad? Sandy says it's a bit blurry, but that could be just the iPad. I don't know. All right, there's the sushi. There it is. Sushi, anyone? Cute. Okay, that is cute. That is really cute. Next, I need to cut some. Oops, I need H32 and 58. Let's put these back. Now I need H32 and 58. 32 and 57. 58.
Okay, I don't like sushi, but we're having Chinese for supper. Yes. <laughs> you what? I don't like sh sushi, but we're having Chinese for supper. Oh, you're ordering it or is he cooking it? Uh, we're ordering it in. Oh, okay. It's the only takeaway that's open around us at the moment. Yeah. Do they deliver it? Yes. Right to the door. Yep, ours too. There's the flower. Okay. H58 is done. Now, next thing I need is H49 and 64. I thought that was outside my house. Um, what about Zoom, zoom, zoom. Playing with the snow machine. What the map, map? No. Sounds like it's Harley. Might be. They do all have Arlies over there. That would be reported over here. Not allowed it. Oh, come on. that's a Harley. Yeah, it probably is. Still but not. I know no mowers don't have that. Oh, oh. Well, they kind of do, but not I like think it's like a skidoo. Well, is it blurry for you? Or is it okay? Oh, a tiny, tiny bit. Tell you what, I admire the guys that go out in the middle of snow and ride their Harleys. <coughs> Sounds like it's just ticking that over. No, you got to keep them babies started or they seize up. I think that's a dish of watermelon. Yes, it is. It. Yeah. Yep, it is. Who wanted watermelon? There you go. I think it was <laughs> Edith. Yeah, I think it was. I might have cut these too thick. They oh, don't no, you need a good chunk of it. Just to get the taste. Yeah, I cut them way too thick. Get off. If in doubt, more glue. Yeah. <laughs> when in doubt, pitch my snout. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what Parky Pig used to say. Okay, Martha. Oh, that's one of them finger knives. Finger blade. Yeah. I was watching somebody this morning make a magazine folder for 12 by 12 paper pads. She used one of them. You really cut these too thick. Yes, she does. Mm. 
There. Stanley says Ruby has all the toys. Get the glue off right now. Because as soon as I touch something, it sticks. This glue is so stringy. There. That's good enough. Alright. Let's glue it down. Get to glue everything down now. That's it for this table, I think. Yep, it is. So, first off, we take the flower pot. And the watermelon. And this cutting board. I'm on the Nao Nails now. Cool. My favorite shop. And then the fish. Goes there. Fishy goes there. And then that. There we go. Those sushi is a brilliant. <laughs> Look at my little sushi table. <laughs> That's so cute. So cute. All right. What else is there now? Oh, that is adorable. I think I'm just going to quit for today. 2.30. Okay. Jeff will be home soon. Yeah. And the cucumber, avocado, cream cheese, sushi rolls on its way. I love my hubby. Oh, really? Well, I got one thing made anyways. That is adorable. So adorable. Set it over there. Waiting for tomorrow. So I need to put this fabric back in this package. Maybe if I iron it, it won't be so bad. <laughs> Chop it up. Yep. Put this back because that wasn't even what I was supposed to use. Oopsie. It's okay. There. All right. We're all good. We're all good in the hood. Ready for tomorrow. <laughs> Yep. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. So remember, this is the house we're making. I'll show you again. This one right here. So pretty. It does that. Say bye-bye to people. Oh, the sushi bar goes. That's a gazebo. Yeah. Oh, that is a roof. Okay. No, that's not where the sushi bar. Oh, it goes in the living room. And there is little wooden chairs that go on the floor. <laughs> little stools, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. There's Martha saying bye-bye. <laughs> All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Stay we safe. Made it end. Bye, everyone. Take care. God bless. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bye. ladies. Bye. Bye.